Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Tech Void. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick uh, tip video to show you guys how you can remove programs from starting up automatically when your computer starts up. Um, so there's three main methods that you can use that are that are on Windows but by default anybody can use them uh, you don't have to you install any special programs for it so I'm gonna show you these three basic methods the first and easiest method uh, is to click your start button then go to all programs and then you wanna scroll down to find the startup this folder called startup now this is a uh, you can apply this to XP, Windows, Vista, Windows 7 as well. So this applies to all all uh, window, my Windows OSs. So you want to go to the startup folder. Click that. And inside the startup folder, you'll see if you have programs that are starting up automatically, you'll see them here in the startup under the startup folder. So I have it empty right now because I've removed all the programs from that were here from starting up. I had uh different different programs here but uh, I've removed them now so they don't they don't start up by themselves and at the same time um, you can also if say you wanted to load something you wanted a program to start up automatically you can also drag that and drop it in here so it'll start up automatically for you so you can use it as a two-way tip I guess so that was the first method the startup folder you want you want to check here to see if there's any programs you don't want starting up automatically okay so the second method is uh, you want to click start and then you want to press uh, or you want to type in um, uh, ms config so this will open up a windows properties uh, window here and then what you want to do is you want to click on the startup tab um, here and then you can this you can this list here this is a list of all the different programs that I have starting up automatically so you can scroll through this any programs you don't want starting up automatically you can click here and disable it so here I have Komodo Geek Buddy. I don't want that starting up. And um, I have QuickTime, which I don't want starting up automatically. So these are all different. Uh, you can look through the programs that you don't want, and you can click them here to disable. So that that is another method. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Apply. And it's going to ask me, and then I'm going to click OK. It will ask me to restart. Right now I'm just going to exit without restarting, just to show you guys. Okay, and the last last method, uh, this is also uh, um, some uh, kind of detailed method, but this is also one one way. Say the first two methods you tried, and the program still keeps the opening up at startup. Um, what you want to do is you want to click start. You want to go to all programs. You want to go to accessories, and then you want to go to system tools, the system tools folder, and then you'll see task scheduler. Task scheduler. That's what you want to find. Um, or what you can do is just click start in the search bar here. Type task scheduler, and here it is. So you click that. You open that up, and then you want to. Um, click on the task scheduler library the small arrow here to drop it down and then it'll have different uh, folders these are main folders um, and you can see sometimes there some programs are scheduled to start up automatically so you want to go through these folders see what depending on whatever programs you have installed right now I have these three things as a schedule so under ACES um, there's these three uh, programs ACES AI Suite to execute and then it's it triggers at logon of any user so this is one of the things so anytime somebody logs on this program will start up 
so this is under task scheduler so you guys can look through here see anything that you don't want and then all you have to do is right click and you can disable it or you can uh, delete it so that that is another method to check if you have any programs that you don't want to start up from when you log on to the computer when you start up your computer S uh, so these are the three basic methods um, I also wanted to show you guys um, one other uh, method that uses uh, I'll maybe I'll show it in another video I'll show you guys uh, programs or different or program you guys can use which will automatically check all the comp programs you have on your computer and you can see what startups autom what what will start up automatically and um, how you can how you can disable them just through that one program so it makes it easier rather than going through all these three methods so um, keep an eye out for that video uh, for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this will help you guys out and um, don't forget to comment rate and subscribe let me guys let me know what you guys think of this video uh, thanks guys and take care